Hi to everyone, John here, and today we're taking a look at the Hollywood RV Rider on our 2020 Ford Escape. This is going to be a choice if you happen to have your heavier bikes or your fat tire bikes. Let's take a closer look. Now, this is going to be a bike rack that is not only going to work on your vehicle, but say you have an RV or a motorhome or a flat toe, anything like that, you're going to be able to also use it on. So it's going to miss some of the specific uh, quality of life that you see with other heavier uh, e-bikes, but it's still going to have a very high weight capacity of 80 pounds per bike, which is going to be great. Uh, there's not going to be too many bikes that you're going to run into that will go over that amount. It's also going to be able to hold fat tire bikes uh, up to a five inch uh, wheel width. So with that, you're going to be able to have basically anything from a fat tire bike to an e-bike on here. But the way it's being held, it is going to be frame out. So you aren't going to want to have anything that is an odd shaped frame or something like carbon frame because that could damage or warp the bike. Now this is also going to have tilt away. I'm just going to undo this little handle here and it's attached to a bolt. There we go. I'm going to push it up a little bit and then let it down. That's going to be out of the way. And then you'll be able to open up. Ooh, we are going to get just a little bit too close, so it won't be able to open up fully. So just keep that in mind. You want to take off your bike and then get into it from there. As you can see here, you can undo this. It is going to have a 60 inch wheel wheelbase. It is a little bit hard to mess with and move. Um, I do think that there are better choices from Hollywood whenever it comes to what can hold a e-bike, but also uh, ease of use is a big one in my opinion. You're going to want to keep that in mind. Now let's show taking this bike off. You're going to want to pop this off first. And we're just going to undo this knob. It is going to have a locking mechanism on the knob itself, so that's at least nice. Uh, that way you can make sure that your bikes are safe. It does take a little bit to mess around and get it off. There we go. And now you can either get it off this way, lift it over, move it over. Personally, I like to also put down the mast. You have to make sure that you have an extra hand on the bike and it does make it easier whenever you have another person here, but it is doable with one person. So we're just going to, and see, like I said, it is a little bit of a pain to mess around with it and get the, uh, the best placement. We'll move this out, let it drop. There we go. And from there, we can lift off the bike and go on our ride. Now make sure to get everything tightened down before you head off. Put all those straps back in place. Uh, I do like this little pad that it has on the strap system. That is nice. And you do have to play around with it to get it in place. Sometimes this bolt doesn't want to play nice, but it just takes a little bit of time to figure out where it should go. And then also make sure that these guys are out of the way as well. We do have straps if you're going to be going for a longer ride to hold them in place. So just keep that in mind. Okay, now let's get some measurements. Let's see how far this comes out from the back of our vehicle. It's going to be about 25 and a half. So you want to keep that in mind whenever you're backing up somewhere or parking. And we're going to have a drop of about 17 and a half inches. And just like tilting it down, you can also fold it away. It's going to be basically the exact same system. So you're going to want to undo that bolt again. But like I said, this is just kind of tedious in my opinion. It takes a good amount of time and you can Push it into place. And 
There we go. And just make sure that bolts all the way in. So tighten it down. And from there, you can see how far it comes out. It's going to add about 11 to 12 inches from there, so that isn't too bad. And it also isn't going to come too close. I would say the closest point is going to be about three inches. So still a good amount of space. You're not going to have to worry about it touching. And in this position, you can see it's relatively sturdy and it's not going to get any closer. Now shank is going to be for two inch hitches and it's also going to come with an anti-rattle bolt and lock. And this lock is going to be key to like with the rest of the locks on this bike rack. And as you can notice, as I'm moving the shank, it's actually going to take out all the shake and play with that anti-rattle system. I personally don't recommend it. I think Hollywood has put out some better bike racks. Uh, the Sport Rider SE is going to have basically the same weight capacity, but also work a lot better in my opinion. It's not gonna be as janky when it comes to undoing things. And just in general, I think it's a better bike rack from Hollywood. But overall, I personally want to recommend the Swagman E-Spec that's going to have the perfect quality of life that you're looking for while also being able to have e-bike racks on there. Sorry, e-bikes. And that was a look at the Hollywood RV Rider on our 2020 Ford Escape. Thanks for watching.